Hey guys, well, this lesson is going to be super quick, super easy, short and sweet, to the point. Nothing to worry about, guys. It's actually all about input devices, hardware input devices. However, all of these devices that we're looking at are wireless. Yep. No wires, nothing, nada, nix, nothing connecting them. So our first one is a wireless keyboard. Super cool. This is very quick, guys. I'm just <laughs> running through various devices so you know about them. It's a keyboard, no wires. Okay, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of this in a minute, okay. A wireless mouse. We also have wireless Bluetooth headsets or earpieces. You know, like when those guys are walking around and they got this little thing like sitting over there. And they look really silly, but anyway, it's a Bluetooth headset, okay, or a Bluetooth earpiece or with a little microphone attached to it. I think those are still quite popular, actually. But anyway, wireless headsets with a um, microphone, okay, cool, because the microphone part is the input part, all right? The ears are obviously the output part. How about, this is pretty new, but still quite relevant now, in terms of the time I'm making this video, infrared temperature scanners. They're all over the place because we're in the middle of a pandemic called the COVID-19. That's when I'm making this video. Hopefully, if you're watching this, time has gone by and COVID-19 is just like a thing of the past. Ah, we can only hope, hey. Anyway, infrared temperature scanners scan the temperature of an object, okay, like within a certain range, and it then gives you a digital feedback, okay, so that is also a hardware wireless input device. And of course, you've got these lying around the house, remote controls, they could be infrared remote controls through TV, your radio system, whatever, or it could be a Bluetooth remote control as well. I've got a cool little box, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's an Android system connected to my TV and the remote control for that is based on Bluetooth. Okay, it's not infrared. So that's actually pretty interesting. Whereas the remote for the television itself is infrared. Okay, infrared you know need, needs a line of sight. Bluetooth does not. That's pretty handy to know actually. Cool, what else? The stylus is a very, very common wireless input device because it looks like a pen. Okay, you can see there's a picture there. It looks like a pen and uh, you can hold it and you can like tap things and draw and do particular gestures on a, on a touch screen using a stylus. So it's kind of like a mouse for the hand that looks like a pen, but it's like a mouse, which looks like a pen for the hand. I'm gonna move on. Wireless microphone. Uh, input device, well, a, mi a microphone is an input device to capture audio, and they're wireless. I mean, you've seen them at concerts or assemblies at your school or something, perhaps. I mean, it's just, it's all wireless. It's super, super cool. Using radio frequencies. All right, so we've got Bluetooth so far, infrared, and radio frequency as well. How about wireless cameras? I've got a couple here around my house, actually, just because they're cool. And, uh, well, yes, they are cool. Wireless cameras are cool, okay? They also use the wireless frequency range okay, on your Wi-Fi network. Great. Wearable devices like Fitbits and other ones. I don't know any other names, sorry. Fitbits. I mean, these are wireless input devices because they capture information which can then be sent through on a network to your computer system. Right, or to your phone, for example, and then get more information and data on how many steps you walked around school that day. Probably too many, I think. We should have a better system, like little motorbikes or something. Anyway, moving on. Now, some of the advantages and disadvantages of wireless input devices. This is where you take notes and make notes, okay? So, first of all, advantages. Well, the obvious one is that there's no wires. Duh. So there's a lot less clutter. I mean, imagine if everything on your table was wireless. That'd be so cool, all right? No clutter, no wires everywhere, no spaghetti junction all over the place. Portability or mobility, okay? So wireless devices are portable. They're mobile. You can pick them up and just go. You can go anywhere with them. They're not connected to anything, okay? And of course, it's the convenience of having fewer add-ons, fewer things plugged in, and fewer accessories that you have to keep connecting and plugging in here and plugging in there just to have a whole system working. If everything is wireless, it actually does a lot more, which is pretty cool. However, there are some disadvantages, and I'm sure you have come across these. Okay, the number one disadvantage for me, batteries. 
batteries are always required for these things because I mean you're using it and then suddenly your mouse stops working or well, the keyboard keys aren't sending properly anymore and you're like what is going on it's the batteries guys you need batteries and of course when the battery dies so does the device and it's uh, it, it's efficiency right sometimes you can actually have signal interference in other words there can be other things in the home or at school or in the business or in the workplace that are interfering with the connectivity of your device and i've seen this i've actually seen those bluetooth devices if they're not connecting properly or there's an, there's a, another signal that's really strong it can actually disconnect or interfere with the signal of those devices so that is a real thing in terms of wireless input devices and of course the worst part they can be easily lost or stolen right which is very sad but true if it is portable and mobile and you can pick it up and you can just walk away with it that means somebody else can pick it up and walk away with it so that is one more disadvantage of a wireless device anyway those were the a very quick, short, simple, sweet lesson on input devices, hardware devices that are wireless and some advantages and disadvantages.